Uh, welcome everyone. Uh, thank you for uh, joining us for today's webinar. Uh, my name is Sunny Makija and I'm a senior inside sales specialist with Grave Infotech, having seven plus years of industry experience. Uh, before we get started, I'm going through uh, some quick housekeeping to ensure you can interact with myself and the speakers. Firstly, if you wish to ask any question to presenters, we have Q&A session and chat feature enabled, so you can also uh, just type in your questions and we will be uh, answer your question at the end of the session. And we also be launching a poll question in today's webinar. So I would appreciate if you could participate in by selecting your responses when they appear, appear on your screen. Uh, now I would like to welcome Murli, uh, Ashish and Shiba. Uh, we are so glad that you could be here today to share your insight on delivering next generation intelligent asset management for SAP customers. Uh, Murli is a sales and operation director for Crave Operations in India. During his 20 plus years of industry servings, he has handled and executed multiple uh, projects for pharma, manufacturing, engineering, CPG, and IT industries. Uh, at present, he is uh, working closely along with SAP and uh, uh, Crave team with uh, uh, multiple IM projects in India. And we have Ashish with us. Ashish is a senior functional analyst, uh, PM at Crave Infotech with 10 plus years of industry experience. He is handling various automation projects for different industries like pharma, manufacturing, oil and gas for end-to-end -end implementation of plant maintenance mobile solutions. And uh, we have Shiva also with us, Shiva Prasad. He is a software developer at Crave Infotech. He has approximately 15 years of uh, combined experience serving the thermal uh, gas, nuclear, wind turbine, power uh, engineering and refinery engineering for top renewable pharmaceuticals companies and SAP implementation. Uh, he is having 15 years of experience and uh, he also has a strong expertise in SAP modules such as S S4HANA, EM, Enterprise Asset Management, ECC, Plant Maintenance, Material Management, Warehouse Management Systems. And, uh, now without any further to, I would hand over to Murli to start the presentation. Over to you, Murli. Yeah, thank you, Sunny. Thanks for short intro of the speakers. Um, and welcome you all in uh, today's webinar on intelligent asset management by Crave Infotech. So, and uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all of you wherever you are because people are joining from different geographies in this webinar. So uh, before we uh, take you through uh, the actual subject, intelligent asset management by SAP and subsequent solution by Crave Infotech on that, uh, I just wanted to take you through very few uh, quick, very quickly with few minutes on the Crave Infotech um, corporate or corporate offering just to let you understand who we are, what we do, and uh, our expertise. Uh, even one small uh, point I just wanted to add before I uh, start on the talking about Crave Infotech. In, in, in today's webinar, we have added Mr. Earlier, it was me, myself, and uh, Ashish, but we also added Mr. Shiva Prasad over here to address few uh, important aspects of um, intelligent asset management, being um, a subject matter expert in that area. So, um, uh, there will be three speakers today. So coming to um, the journey of Crave Infotech, in fact, uh, I hope my screen is visible to all. Uh, we are 13 years old organization started in 2007. Um, operational with uh, very right from our inception, very closely working with uh, um, uh, SAP. Uh, in uh, various areas, um, including SAP BTP, SAP EAM, SAP um, uh, digital supply chain and warehouse management. So um, during these 13 years of journey, 
this um, we um, uh, access started it with our head office is in us uh, new jersey and uh, uh, india operations is in hinjewadi pune and we um, during this 13 years we uh, expanded globally in 2014 then um, won multiple awards uh, along with sap uh, sap s award sap pinnacle award finalist uh, today we are all sap p sale bill uh, and service partner global north america as well as in india also we are working very closely with sap in btp initiative so this is just a quick um, brief history of the organization this is the future broad map of the organization today we are in 2022 working on sap btp em ewm supply chain these are the focused areas uh, have all plans to go with great guns um increasing our team size increasing global presence increasing the solutions and products portfolio and have all plans to become a major global partner for btp initiative uh, along with sap so this is just uh, the future road map of the organization as i mentioned we are along with sap we are also premium partner isv as well as the reseller of zebra who is a global mobile computing devices manufacturer we are also premium partner of here technologies which is a geo enablement solution world leader along with google then other partnership like amazon web services google and so on and we also have need full certifications in terms of quality aspects iso 9001 27001 from the delivery and uh, systems quality management perspective so this is just short uh, understanding about the organization um as i mentioned uh, right from day one we are working very closely with sap so we have almost 50 plus pre packaged solutions applications in digital transformation area and these all solutions are available on sap app center Uh, out of that um, when it comes comes to business focus we have five focused verticals one is the intelligent asset management which we'll talk today more then intelligent warehouse management and digital supply chain business technology platform which is again i just covered up uh, during my couple of slides back and then intelligent enterprise in which we work in a mainly in sap space so we are product company as well as we are services company in products these all uh, solutions we have including uh, uh, iam digital supply chain wms logbook and so on and in services we are um, covering every aspects of sap services almost right from resource augmentation to btp enablement fury enablement implementation support customization of various modules in sap smb to scp mobile services and application development so these are the services of the organization uh you see we are covering almost every functionality of the organization when it comes to plant uh, shop floor when it comes to stores and uh, logistics when it comes to sales when it comes to materials management approvals management dashboards human capital management and so on so we have multiple solutions and we can brief further on one to one one on one if you uh, connect us uh, one on one for uh, understanding more about our solutions the rest of the solutions so um we are covering uh, uh, life science energy cpg manufacturing engineering these are major industries we have worked with so coming to today's uh, topic of intelligent asset management uh, before uh, briefing about the uh, intelligent asset management area in fact i would quickly cover the challenges we observe at marketplace so um, these are the major and i i'm sure you being um, uh in plant maintenance or a, a asset maintenance area you all must be uh, facing these all challenges or um, 
area of concerns in your your activity as well so disconnected people processes assets across operation and that uh, impacts your business performance so and that is but obvious because changing role of manufacturers operators and service providers uh, that increase complexity of the products and services uh, then inability to connect data signals silos across supply chain and enterprise that increases the operational cost downtime reduce services level all those the uh, then constraint resources we are using third parties in many of the operations right in plant maintenance especially uh, and dynamic demand impact services with the increasing cost so these are i'm sure you everybody are facing these issues so when we talked about the maintenance area we observe that mainly there are three types of users or people who work there maintenance engineer maintenance planner and plant head and every role has different challenges for example the engineer's challenges are different he 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 thinks that i spend most of the time on data collection and data entry so he thinks that his time can be utilized much better way if there is a uh, digitalization available digitalization of the because lots of paperwork can be reduced most of my decisions are based on experience and gut feeling so he doesn't get any system intelligence there is no system intelligence in place i follow what my planner has asked me to do so he his pain area is he wants system intelligence he wants more predictability he wants more digitalization maintenance planner is again his pain areas are different He's, he he thinks that my equipment performance risk maintenance data are sitting in silos i still follow traditional practices which are time based maintenance planning how i can change that how i can take it from reactive to uh, preventive to predictive the journey of reactive to predictive and plant head obviously his challenges are different total cost of ownership then how he can optimize the cost of production how he can maintain the budget decisions how he can adopt the digital technologies like iot's and machine learning to reduce maintenance cost and increase assets availability so these are role based challenges when it comes to uh, plant maintenance area so what is the solution when we talk about intelligent asset management we uh, we, we uh, this is the typical maturity model which we have to work on today many of still organizations they are in reactive mode of the maintenance so the journey has to start from reactive to preventive to condition based and predictive these are the four stages of the maintenance maturity model which ideally we would take you through through uh, crave expertise so and how how it is going to help because 76% of the organizations consider it is important to predict potential failure by leveraging data models so these are certain statistics these are certain digital readiness surveys shows that companies clearly see the need but unfortunately though there is a need still there is lots of gaps and they see the need of right consultant in place to help them during this digital transformation journey so only 21% of the organizations employ employ predictive and preventive maintenance so that is that is the gap and there is a need of such a expertise required for taking you through this uh, um, uh, stage of predictive maintenance and here in this slide if you look at this is the complete asset performance automation with four stages system of record data acquisition analysis and correct action so here uh, in fact i request my colleague siva who comes with a subject matter expertise with uh, his 15 years of experience in this all area so uh, siva over to you uh, uh, brief us about more about this uh, the asset performance automation and intelligent asset management you know whole
i think shiva is facing some uh, un- unfortunately urgent uh, sudden power failure at his end so no issue so i will brief you about this asset performance and automation and then we will move to the uh, the application um, briefing and demonstration of the application and we will bring shiva later again in this webinar so these these are four stages when we talk about asset performance and automation these are four stages through which we um, perform this entire operation so system of record when and these are all the systems system of records these are the normally available in any uh, setup of the organization this is your erp your equipment master bom order processing calibration uh, all those things you are already having in your erp so what we do we do the next stage is data acquisition through various tools like iot then uh, collaborate better information asset intelligent network through various platforms like collaboration platform network iot platform sensors big data and then workflow management so this is uh, field mobility this offline mode uh, real time connectivity real time update label print so these are all tools we use for data acquisition and to, uh, once we acquire the data we analyze the data we massage the data so in analysis we perform risk and strategy assessment right and again here we have various tools at marketplace like rcm uh, a, FMEA failure mode and effect analysis, RBI, RCA. These are the uh, uh, root cause analysis. These are the tools used for analysis of the data, and um, um, it is also with the predictive analysis like failure mode analytics, fingerprint management, indicator uh, forecasting, and rule based alerts. So with this, we once we analyze the data, we uh, do the corrective action with recommendations and uh, correct. active action so uh, uh, this, this is the asset performance and um, uh, automation model now when we talk about the uh, crave infotech solution and i will i'll come to that i hope my screen is visible to all sunny right so uh, with crave we have done certain innovations in this end to end in enterprise asset management or intelligent asset management if you look at these are the stages like flexible scheduling flexible dispatch tracking and map based dispatch planning workbench approvals mobile application and back end completion so these different stages we perform with a different set of uh tools either of sap softwares either of sap or crave uh, intelligent asset management so like sap plant maintenance customer service sap uh, sm wm these all things cover the flexible scheduling flexible dispatch then asset management covers most of the portion like uh, fury and sap cp and through application we are performing uh, rest of the activity over here so uh, ashish uh, uh, i am handing over here to you to brief about the crave uh, application application process flow and demonstration of the application yeah thank you murli yeah let me share my screen yeah so hello everyone so i will give the uh, like briefing of this uh, our crave product and uh, uh, later on i will show the process flow and then the actual demo of the application so as a crave offerings we are doing the sap implementation for the plant maintenance customer service and service management apart from that considering the mobility we have also work on like work management asset manager applications then in, in the intelligent asset management we have like asset intelligence network aspm and predictive uh, asset uh, solution and then as a like product like uh, as you know like most of the customers required like uh, customizations and like the product like it uh, should be like a field level config so that we have our own product called c calibration 
and so c calibration planning workbench so it will be used for the planner the inflexible scheduling where you can do the scheduling of your work and can assign it to the multiple resources asset inventory barcode and rfid and mobile computing hardware so these are our solutions so like we have implemented this mobility at energy is same pra energy so these are our like customers where we have implemented the uh, mobile solutions then for the like implementation methodology so like we have uh, this is the implementation methodology we are following in our product like uh, the project initiation then based on the customer requirement we will do the design thinking and business blueprint then uh, it will get the ui ux design will be reviewed with the customer then prototyping then if any configuration is involved then baseline configuration in the system and as because our application is totally configured that i will show in the demo then Uh, project realization and testing and then uat and go live so this is our methodology then this is the road map for s4 hana considering the s4 hama what will be the new what will be the our road map so, so these are the things which are available like flexible workflow for the maintenance orders then how the activity can be improved at management like engineer and task level so that that details will be available so uh now i will start the actual process now how our product is built and how the process follow will work for any industry for like preventive calibration breakdown so that i will demonstrate so like first i will uh, give the walk through of this preventive maintenance process flow so like we have solution which can be installed on the mobiles where user can carry out the activity in the offline so we are showing like icons the activity which will be carried out in the offline which will be carried out in the online okay like at most of the times in the plus plant side like production area you have to do the preventive maintenance so like most of the industries are right now doing the preventive maintenance on the paper okay and they are again coming into the office and again entering the data into the system so um, double work they are doing and so here Hello? uh yeah shiva just hold for me yeah hello so hello so uh, here uh, the process flow will be like uh, here the first like master data creation so all your master data and order schedule will be available in your sap system and then from this point the mobile application will work where in the mobile application whatever your uh, schedule like you have the maintenance for specific equipment so that maintenance orders maintenance request will generate into the mobile application so all your uh, technicians who are on a field can see the list of orders which are due for the preventive maintenance in the application then they can there is option like user can do the self assignment or if you have scenario where the supervisor can assign the work to the technician so that provision is also available then uh, you can approve the permit you can release the work order directly from on field on the mobile application and in this all case it will capture the real time data like when you are going to start the activity when you are completed completing the activity everything will be available audit trail will be available for all the activity then here in the block number 4 you can see like pre approval and equipment verification by barcode scan so this is the uh, this is the functionality which is not available in the sap but we are providing with as our product like most of the times if i am the technician and i want to start the activity of maintenance on any equipment so so if there is bad or something is running so uh, i can't start the uh, maintenance activity so here we are adding one checkpoint where the person the owner of the equipment will provide the approval to the technician that you can start your activity as there is no any batch is planned for the next uh, until the maintenance activity completion so that pre pre approval activity can be captured then you, many times the user is um, multiple equipments are available so uh, we, we here we are ensuring ensuring ki uh, they are doing the maintenance of the correct equipment or not so there if you are using the barcode available or qr code available at equipment so they can uh, verify it and then only the system will allow to start but as i mentioned ki all this one is a configurable so whatever you required as per your business that we can add or remove as per the process flow 
then here at block number 5 user can start the activity user can capture the observations we have measuring point you can also add the material and generate the reservation for it from the mobile itself and you can confirmation like whatever you are doing in the sap iw4142 work confirmation that you can do here in from the mobile itself then once you are done with the activity then if you have a scenario where your supervisor can review the activity so and and uh, once you hand over the equipment to the production person then the production person will provide the approval that yeah maintenance is completed and equipment is running uh, properly so that approval part we can add then supervisor can supervisor can review the activity and technically complete the work order from uh, mobile itself then another feature we have like uh, uh, our application is integrated with the uh, printers like uh, uh, what is happening in the plant if you we want to attach the label then you, you are again coming into the office then printing the label and then uh, attaching it to the equipment so to avoid that and to reduce the time for the maintenance activity directly we are providing one um, handheld printer which is which will be integrated with the mobile application so in the offline itself you can take a print out so it will be connected with the bluetooth then once you are done with the activity now you can see from block number 4 this is the offline icon so uh, this act, this functionality this uh, activity you can carry out in the offline itself even if the network is not available so once the network is available then there will be like one button to sing the data so once you click on it all the activity which you have executed for the maintenance that will upload to the system and here in this case you don't need to carry out any paper or even after the execution you don't need to take a print out in the system itself we will provide one report where you will get all the details of your maintenance okay now for that order when you have completed the maintenance activity how many persons involved which material you are use so all these details will be available in this uh, execution summary report so this is related to the preventive same process flow will be for the calibration so in case of a ca calibration like if it is integrated with the qm module you can do the result recording and it can show the usage decision based on the pass and fail and remaining flow will be same the same process we have for the breakdown so in the breakdown like a user can create the notification using the mobile application then that push notification like we are getting in the whatsapp and facebook so that type of a notification will trigger to the technician if some breakdown or some notification is raised so that will trigger to that uh, technician mobile then he can analyze the work you can add the items parts damage cause task activity that details they can captured then if required from the mobile itself the user can convert the notification to a work order and can work on the work order like permit order release here if like uh, user want to add the new operation that what he want to do so new operation option is also available and the same way like material confirmation and equipment handover once the breakdown is fixed then equipment will be hand over to the production person and uh, order will be technically completed by the supervisor from the mobile so for this application we have both version like web version as well as the mobile version so the technician generally will work on the mobile but whatever you have uh, the team which will be the like a planner or supervisor so they can also do this activity from the office from laptop or desktop so once the activity is done then user can sync whatever the activity completed in the offline will upload to the system and you can also see the uh, breakdown execution summary report so this re report will be available for all time like in the audit if the auditor is asking to show the maintenance of that specific equipment you have to just enter the order number and you will get all the summary of that specific uh, equipment so these are the process flow now i will de uh, demonstrate the actual flow like how user can do the maintenance activity on field so i will start from the case of a preventive so this is the screen where user can see once login into the application so user has to login by using his credentials so after login into the application your user will see like open orders my orders 
old orders so these are the different tabs are available so in the open orders all the list of uh, all the list of maintenance request for the preventive that will display here if i am going to assign this so suppose i want to work on this specific equipment for the maintenance so i can assign it so once i have assigned it will switch to this my orders means i am going to work on this okay then here we have provided the options like you can do the search whatever the fields are available like sometimes you know specific field so you can search it based on that one then even if you want to search for base uh, specific date so there is a filter option where you can uh, filter it based on the plant date like you want to see only records of 19 and 20 that you can do with the help of a filter then on the info like you will get the additional buttons uh, additional data will be available for that one then coming back to the my orders now as a technician i have to start the activity so i will go into the production area with my mobile or tablet then i have to work on this uh, specific equipment maintenance so i will click on it so once you click on it it will redirect to the order detail screen so this will be the order detail screen where all these fields are configurable and these tabs are also configurable like whatever you have the requirement or name you want based on that we can configure it so here you can see these are the fields like order number order description equipment id your internal code of the equipment id that can also shown then at which location it is installed all these details we can bring then here in the bottom you will get your checklist whatever the points you are capturing on the paper in case of a preventive that all we can digitize and can show on the mobile application so here all things are right now in a disable because i have not started the work order so once i click on the start so as you as i explain in the process flow if you have a process where the person the owner of the equipment will provide the approval in the tablet he will enter his credentials and will provide the approval that my equipment is available and you can start the activity so that person can enter the credentials password and remark and all these details will be available along with date and time stamp in the sap so now here you can see once it is started it will show the equipment history so in the equipment history it will show ki how many orders uh, how many breakdowns are raised for that specific equipment when what was the start date finish date which person has attended so all these details will be available in case of a equipment history and then once i click on the start order so it will capture the date and time when i am starting the work and that you can see here so this is the date on which it is started then checkpoints will be available so user can read the checkpoints if long text available then it will display the whole uh, description of that checkpoints then user can start and user can capture the value key or this observation is there any observation if no observation or yes or no in, the, in that you can capture it then suppose for any point if you see some observation so you can select it as a no you can add the comments as well so if if there is any observation you want to add the material we have option like bomb equipment bomb non bomb list so in the equipment bomb you can select the material for which operation you required that you can select you can add the quantity click on okay same way it will be available for the non bomb here you can search it based on your uh, so it based on any value whatever you know that you can enter here and you can search it then there is option like you can edit the quantity or if you don't want that specific material you can remove it also so these are the options available in in the history you can see the history of that specific equipment and the same way you can complete the remaining operations like if you have a scenario you want to transfer the work to other person due to some reason or due to change in a ship so that multiple person can also work on the preventive then once you captured all the points the system will allow you to do the confirm so here you will do the work confirmation so after the work confirmation uh, it will allow you to do the techo so techo will be like sign off so here the technician will enter the details and in case of a sign off uh, the the person that uh, supervisor will check that user has carried out the activity properly or not and based on that he will provide his uh, approval
and will close so once you done with the activity if you click on the if you click on the sync data so uh, all the data will upload to the your system and orders will get removed from your uh, application means you have completed the activity and in the pdf you can see the the format where you can see uh, which points you have captured what was the observations you added that everything you can get so this is our one application for the preventive the same one is available for the calibration i will just do, because process will be same but i will just walk through it so in the in case of a calibration also using same application you can do the calibration of the instrument where you will get the orders the uh, the in here the process flow will be like you can see the calibration range instrument range acceptable limits all these values will be available so for doing the calibration if you want any masters that the masters like uh, voltmeter or the uh, ammeter that you required that you can select here so this one will be integrated with your sap qm module so right now inspection lot number is not there if i click on the release so it will generate the inspection lot number here and from that inspection lot number you can do the, the result recording so again as per our process flow you can do the business pre approval where person can enter the his id in and remark so it will show like at what time it is digitally pre approved and by which person then the person is doing the calibration of the correct instrument or not that we can verify by using this button where now you can see this start button is not enabled because you have not verified the instrument so you have, you need to verify the instrument if you are using the barcode then there is option like you can scan the code it will validate you are doing the uh, calibration of the correct instrument id or not and if barcode is not available there is option like manually also you can check that your instrument and this instrument is correct or not and then it will allow to start the activity so now if i click on the start order start order it will take like automatically it will capture the time then here you will get all raw data sheet whatever you are doing on the paper that will be available directly in the application and in the application based on your readings your high low value will be captured and on the run time in the offline we are showing the user entered uh, the uh, entered reading is going outside the limit or not like sometimes user is getting the correct value on the instrument but due to the typo error they are entering the wrong value so this feature will allow him to check that the value entered is correct or not if the entered reading is within the limit within the high and low then it will show the result as a pass then same way user can capture the remaining points and save the readings so all the readings will be saved here and after stay in the locally here user can add the like receiving condition of the instrument then room temperature at the time of calibration then humidity in the percentage and the technician remarks and can save it so once you are done you have saved all the records then you can uh, confirm and proceed so once you confirm and proceed here if your all the points are within the limit then the result will be shown can be used where your the supervisor can do the uh, supervisor can enter the details so here it will details the person who has providing the check by the the uh, final approval will be there and submit it once all the activity is done then user will click on the sync because this activity was done in the offline and once you sync so all uh, ca uh, captured details will upload to the system and this order will get removed from the screen so this is the one application which we have for the calibration and for so all these two applications same application is available for the breakdown where you can raise the notification and do the activity and for the planner like as a planner i want to see how many orders are open so we have this planning dashboard where you can see how many orders are open confirmed in teco uh, within that month how how many orders are uh, plan activity unplan activity that you can see orders by type 
orders by uh, priority you can see here then here in the so this application is for the planner who will sit in the office they can uh, review this activity and the earlier application which i have demonstrated that is the mobile application which will be used by the technicians to carry out the maintenance activity so here you can see like as a planner i want to see the maintenance orders list of maintenance orders so that you can see here in the web based application and for any order number if you want to see the details and if you have all the details related to the equipment how many notifications are created work orders created that everything will be available in this planning dashboard so here you can see for this order uh, here the list of all notification permit mttr mt mttf all these details will be available and if you are using measuring points the in characteristics all these details for that equipment will be available here in the dashboard and you can also see the operations activity so you can plan the operations from this screen there is option like if you want to copy the checkpoints from the task list from the existing task list that also you can do by using this option So whatever the checkpoints will come so that will automatically will get added from the checkpoint so you don't need to add manually one by one checkpoints automatically it will come then we have the attachment like in case of a breakdown if you have to take the attachment before uh, breakdown and after fixing the breakdown so that also you can attach then permit is available so these are the features which will be uh, which are available as a uh, c maintenance solution so that's all from my side okay great yeah. so ashish thanks for wonderful presentation of the application um we have few minutes in which we would quickly uh, run the question poll um also um, we we will check if there are any questions in question bank or if you have just few 3 4 minutes we wanted to cover the uh, apm im plus apm so uh, by shiva shiva are you there yes munli i am there yeah yeah so munli i'll just launch the poll question yeah yeah okay because i wanted so I shiva to cover the poll question yeah uh, if all the attendees can participate and share their insight on the poll question it hardly take 10 seconds and in meantime we'll just uh, keep the poll question open and shiva can start explaining things yes. we will end the poll question in coming 5 minutes yeah yeah so okay. they they are very three simple poll questions which will help us to understand uh if there are any challenges and if you want to connect us one on one so that you know we can come back to you we can connect you later um in the meantime i'll just quickly uh, share my screen and so that shiva can uh brief about the uh, yeah. solution uh, thanks yeah. uh, you are I, sharing the screen right yeah yeah hope my screen yeah. is visible yeah, to yeah yeah it's visible yeah can you make it to presentation or can you go one more one more slide up yeah so shiva actually i had briefed this okay okay asset performance and automation and we wanted yeah. you to take quickly through this yeah. im and um yeah uh, area yeah yep. thank you uh welcome you all thanks you for thank th thank you very much for joining the webinar on intelligent asset management and uh, enterprise asset um, management uh, you know that we are already doing uh, you may be all of you having sap eam in your uh, in, in your uh, company and you are using that right when we are using we are using at the end of operations okay we are doing as an operational view we are doing as a operation view and Uh, SAP has come up with a new uh, module and new. It is a cloud-based, which is called intelligent asset management. Okay, in this slide, if you see in this slide, there are some three colors it is representing. Okay, one is your S4 HANA, which is uh, your plant maintenance module. 
the other one the other two are uh, your uh, uh, iam module intelligent asset management when it comes to intelligent asset management we have the three areas it is actually classified one is intelligent asset network one is another one is asset strategy and performance management and protective asset insight okay now we are doing the work order maintenance everything we are doing with the planners are planning it uh, planners who are there they are scheduling the uh, uh, particular uh, orders to the technicians and technicians are able to receive it and they are doing the uh, uh, maintaining the equipment right up to that we are there but there is another area which is not taken up as of now we have different tools to maintain that one to address that one actually like uh, engineering activity the uh, core engineering activity of your equipment right why it fails what is the root cause uh, of that failure and how to take it forward these are the questions which we have these are we are already managing this with all the third party application but we are not managing with the sap right or an excel sheets or a through my mails but sap as yes, if you implement iam intelligent asset management okay that will cover the end to end performance it will check the performance of your system and ensure that it works okay to do that this is all about that one we are saying first of all we have to define asset maintenance for a design means what is your risk of that equipment and risk and criticality of that equipment once you define that you will be having uh, uh, the maintenance and plans which is already there in your sap s4 that all the details will be taken into as uh, iam and when you evaluate your risk and reliability engineering activity in iam you are able to get the uh, means what is the actual uh, analysis of your equipment then uh, according to that you can able to change your maintenance plan strategy everything if you uh, in some cases when you, it is very critical then you are are able to in, in investigate further with predictive asset insight this predictive asset insight will be working with your data sensor data whatever the you have the uh, distributor control system in thermal power plants at a control room in your any other cement manufacturing company anywhere you have a control room you have a plc is the data which is uh, sensor data which you are getting for the whole years we can take it into our system okay in iam system and using iot leonardo iot module we are going to take our uh, means we transfer all those data into iam and we uh, we are able to model that particular equipments to see how the performance will be and you will be acting now up to now we are uh, acting as a reactive maintenance right whenever there is an issue you are addressing it it after that you can uh, maintain your equipment with predictive predictive maintenance that's the main agenda of this uh, iam next slide please yes and what are the other okay i talked about predictive maintenance right and what are the other areas we have in this uh, uh in the uh, what is that is collaborative what is collaborative that is what i am going to talk now the collaborative means if you have you are having your uh, equipment okay which is having uh, supplied from one, one of your oem partner right and you are uh, analyzing that there is an issue in that always right at that time you can share the details of that issues from iam directly to your partner and your rca uh, means root cause analysis they can do uh, your rca and everything from their perspective and share their uh, means uh, uh, share their information to you so that the issues which 
repetitively happening. You can share with that OEM people and that OEM R&D team can access your data. If you are allowed, if you give, they can analyze what is the root cause of your equipment failures and they will come up with suitable uh, changes in your equipment. It may be retrofit activity or refurbished activity that will be addressed by them. This is a collaboration which is newly added to the functionality, okay? Asset performance management and maintenance and service. This is the, what uh, this asset performance can be done in different ways. One of uh, uh, reliability engineering, reliability uh, and uh, uh, um, as uh, means uh, failure mode effective analysis. These are the different processes. Like you are doing work orders now, there is some set of processes. What our uh, uh, SAP is come up with, uh, with that processes, we can estimate what is the uh, analysis we can do on the equipment and find out what is the real cause it and how to address it. Okay, these uh, in uh, these all the things which is uh, SAP has developed this application IM application with uh, the standard of industrial standard 4.0. Okay, as of now, why this you need to use it? As of now, you are working in a silos, right? And we don't have the interaction between the engineering team and the uh, operation team. Then if your data is very well available to engineering team, there, then you can optimize your uh, uh, maintenance purposes and uh, maintenance activities. You can also do uh, improvise your system, right? The downtime will be decreased. That's the main objective of this full uh, IAM, how, we, uh, how SAP is implementing. If you see IA, uh, intelligent asset management, right? That is uh, what you are in, in your company. You may be using windchill application or PADO for uh, uh, thermal power plants. If you are in thermal plant, they are using PADO. So instead of using windchill or PADO, you can come to IAM where you can do all the modeling, everything. And we, you can integrate yourself between the operation and the analysis at one area in SAP. Yes, next slide, please. Yeah, uh, I, now I want to talk to you about full, uh, I want to introduce you predictive asset insight. Uh, predictive asset insight, as I told you, right, it is, uh, uh, this is different uh, uh, areas, means uh, we are going to analyze the, uh, your equipment uh, using the sensors, right? Sensor data. We are connecting with your sensors using in uh, Internet of Things. Okay. Once Internet of Things, we are going to connect your data. We do machine learning means once your uh, once your sensor data is received in IAM, we uh, evaluate what is the uh, means how the sensor data is. Okay. What is the temperature, pressure, and all those things, and we will map that to the particular predictive uh, values and everything we will map to that uh, uh, model so that we will determine what is the issue. We have done this, we have uh, actually, we have very good uh, stories, user stories we have created in Crave environment for wind industry, uh, power plants, medical devices, hydraulic system. If any of your on cement, uh, and if any of you are, are very interested in having this session along with us, please come back to my sales team. They will guide us to reach us. And we can, uh, you, the data which you have, we can show our data or if you are having any data of your, we can model that in our, uh, in my IAM system and showcase to you how we are using. ASPM, PA and uh, yeah, and all this we can showcase to you how we are using so that it will be useful for you to use this uh, newly developed application from SAP. Yes, next screen, please. Yeah, this is the full end-to-end um, uh, -end, uh, mapping of uh, modules in SAP and uh, C maintenance application. Okay, so, when it comes to, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, so Shiva, you can cover it quickly, though I had yeah. briefed them on this. Yeah. 
Okay. Since okay. Uh, you had an issue on electricity, you can quickly brief on this, and we can uh, close yeah. the session. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. These are the end-to-end -end session, and we have C maintenance application. Uh, we have intelligent asset management applications, and uh, this is like from scheduler to uh, the operation uh, operators and the engineering R and R and D department. We can utilize in a full scale asset management. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, please reach out to our sales team. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, Shiva. So um, uh, I have, I'm just checking there are no further questions in Q&A or chat box. So uh, with this, I think we can, we can close this session. Um, I once again thank you all for being patient. Uh, listening to us today, we uh, stretched it bit almost 10 minutes uh, already late. And thank you very much for listening it very carefully. If you have any queries further, you can always contact to us. You have all mail IDs in place. Uh, if you need any one on one session for any further interaction with us, please let us know so that we can connect with you. Uh, thank you so much, and we will close this session today. Thank you.